skeptics were shocked to see green and gold on their maroon and white. I have a pretty good idea of who it could be, but I mean, I don't think this is going to change the outcome for this weekend, you know. Jake Swinney, class of 2011, and his parents, both Aggie grads themselves, own the barn now. Everyone comes down and paints their class on here. But it was Baylor fans doing the painting Wednesday night. They tarnished A&M letters on one side and dumped buckets of paint on the front, but didn't get old Sarge. Old Sarge just always been up there. He's one of the main uh, main parts of the barn, I feel like, you know. A holdover from when military training was a requirement at A&M. The guy who originally built this, he was class of uh, 24. But some Bear fans don't seem to care about history, and this isn't the first time. I guess they actually did beat us one year, and they were going to try and uh, have a plane, like a crop duster, come over and drop paint on top of it. But the guy, the crop duster they called, actually was an Aggie. The barn is set to get a fresh coat of paint, one without gold and green, of course, and will be ready to go by game day. By Saturday, it's going to be hopefully all maroon and white again. Ashley Sigman, News 3. Now, the owners tell us they already have one new coat of paint on the barn and plan to have the barn as good as new by tomorrow morning.